As so in all trade opportunities on Cent 5 and S index, I would want us to analyze the market together. I would want us to have a top down analysis on this index transaction basically. And I'll be looking to take a trade on this index as well. So you can see on Cent 5 and S index that the market has been bullish for some time now. The market has been on this long bullish run on Cent 5 and S index. So it got to this point, it got to these highs of the market. This highs at this point, the market has been consolidating here. And one thing about the consolidating market, we surely get a breakout on it either to the upside or to the downside. So, what is the market situation? Where do we expect this consolidating market to break out? So, we're looking into all of that in today's video. Using past market moves, we can be able to tell that the market gave a breakout on the end of the consolidation. So, we got a consolidating market at this point. We got the market consolidating at this zone, creating equal highs and equal lows at this level let's check how long the market consolidated at this point this consolidation started on the 19th of november to 10th of december 10th to 11th of december market consolidated at this zone for three weeks and after that we got the breakout to the downside we got the market sell on the breakout of this consolidation it sell to the downside and we had another consolidation at this point as well let's spot this properly the consolidation here another consolidation at this point before the breakout we got the breakout on this consolidation here the market suits the downside we had another consolidation as well at this zone so on every consolidation we surely get a breakout so we got the breakout of this consolidation at this point market suits the downside so what is the market situation basically what do we expect of this current market consolidation we would expect the market to sell to the downside or to the upside and it's clear at this point that the market is reacting on a key level a level of resistance the market reacted on this level as a support a support at this zone a resistance at this point support broken turn resistance we got the break through this level the retest at this point the retest at this point the break retest the sell to the downside price came back to the same level so to the downside as a resistance so this has been a key level and important zone in the market so after this long term sell market pushed back inside this zone gave a break at this point the resistance broke down supports the buys to the upside so currently the market is reacting on a level of resistance at this current price level the market is reacting on a level of resistance at this zone so what do you expect of this consolidation you're likely to get the sales to the downside because we've seen the market bought at this level and there was a gap at this point the market needs to fill up this gap so the sales expected from this current level to the downside so how we to approach this market how to take advantage of this trade opportunity we have this level as a key level basically a level of support a level we could expect price to reverse on and the sales to the downside likely to get the reversal at this soon because we've seen the market sell from as a resistance broke above it resistance break a ton support the buy to the upside the buy from here as a support resistance at this zone break below it retest sell to the downside broke above it retest the price to the upside so we've had a lot of trading activities on this level so we're likely to get the market sell to this zone for possible market reaction on this level for possible buys on this level because you can tell that traders saw this level as an interesting level we've had a lot of trading activities on this level so we're likely to get the market sell to this level for possible buys to the upside but our focus currently is on the sell side of the market and since the market is in an uptrend basically market is in an uptrend creating higher highs and higher lows and the market is as well reacting on a key level a level of resistance let's identify this level the market is reacting on a key level at this point because on the approach of this level market sold from this zone to the downside so we can tell the market is likely to sell from the same level on the breakout of this consolidation so we have to approach this market if we can get a clear break of this consolidation to the downside so let's identify this consolidation the equal highs and the equal lows a match of the highs and the lows so on the forward time frame you can see the consolidation clearly at this zone so the sales expected basically i'm looking at for sale opportunities on 751s index from this current level to the downside so let's expect the sales on this index so coming to the one hour time frame there's a market formation basically there's a bearish order block at this point so i'm expecting short-term buys to the upside for the market to come test this bearish order block for possible sales on this current level to the downside a test of this bearish order block they'll be getting the sales from this level to the downside so that's my market analysis basically that's my expectations on this index and for more confirmations on our seller we're bringing up our fibonacci too from the swing highs to the swing lows we're checking our seller to see if it's matched up with the 61.8 retracement level or the 50.0 level and we can see at this point that 61.8 level is matching up with our identified sell zone or identified sell level we're looking at for the sales from this current level to the downside and bringing up our fibonacci too from the swing highs to the swing lows we can tell that this identified sell level this bearish order block level 
his marginal pd is 1.8 level which is a good confirmation for the sales at this zone so let's watch out for the buys to this level for possible sales on this zone to the downside so looking to shorten this index at this level so if the market is to push to this level i'll be shorting this index from this zone and i'll give you guys an update on how trade played out so that's my market analysis on this index that's my sell zone and i'll be having my stop loss at this zone if i'm to short this index at that point i'll be having my stop loss above this market structure at this level my first tp will be at this point the lows of this consolidation that's my first take profit level for my second tp will be at this point my second tp will be at this zone and my third tp will be at this identified key level this identified level of support so that's my price action analysis on 751s index so smash like button for market analysis at least and subscribe if you are new to the channel to my returning viewers appreciate your support for always engaging in my videos it really means a lot guys let's do more and do have enough day peace